Tonight, Cedar Rapids city leaders are packing their bags, getting ready to leave town on one of the most important trips they'll ever take. Tomorrow, they leave for Council Bluffs, where the Iowa Racing and Gaming Commission will decide if Lynn County gets a gambling license. Fox 28 News reporter Matt Hamill joins us live now with the latest. Matt. Yeah, Tiffany, city leaders and developers are all in. And in less than 48 hours, we should know if they hold the winning hand in a game of very high stakes poker. Today, the pitch is high quality and puts you right in the middle of blackjack tables, slot parlors, and fine dining. But getting bankrolled for this game took time. Developers played their first card nearly three years ago, lining up investors. They upped the ante when 61% of Cedar Rapids voters went to the polls and said, let's gamble on the future. Since then, nonstop activity, choosing the Cedar Crossing name, developing plans for a class casino, and making sure the enthusiasm didn't dwindle just when it was needed most. Now to see this and the desire of this community to support this project is very encouraging. Remember, Cedar Rapids lost a lot of jobs. When Racing and Gaming Commission members came to town two weeks ago, Mayor Ron Corbett showed them the flooded areas that casino revenue would help to protect and rebuild. And then 1,000 white shirts filled the double tree in hopes of sending the commission home with a loud message, vote yes. We left it all on the field today. On Wednesday, the mayor, some city council members, and a contingent of supporters head for the Racing and Gaming Commission vote at the Council Bluffs Casino. Sometime before noon on Thursday, they expect to find out if Cedar Crossing remains a virtual dream or becomes a money-making reality. There are five members on the Iowa Racing and Gaming Commission. It would take three of them to vote yes in order for Cedar Rapids to win that license. We will follow supporters to Council Bluffs tomorrow and bring you all of the latest developments.